Hi there! My name is Anna. In this video, we will talk about the different types of internal controls. The purpose of applying controls is to reduce the risk to acceptable levels. In order to reduce the risk, it is necessary to have an understanding of different control categories and their functionalities. This will help you to make more informed decisions about what controls should be used in different situations. The different categories of internal controls are preventive, detective, corrective, deterrent, directive, and compensating controls. Let's review these control categories one by one. A preventive control is used to avoid undesirable events, errors, and other occurrences. The purpose of a preventive control is to protect against threats and reduce the impact of a threat event that exploits a vulnerability. The examples of preventive controls include access control enforcement, encryption, and authentication. A detective control warns of violations or attempted violations of an organization's security policy. The purpose of detective control is to discover a threat event and trigger a preventive control to stop the threat. Examples of detective controls include audit trails, intrusion detection methods, and checksums. A corrective control remediates errors, omissions, and unauthorized uses and intrusions once they are detected. The purpose of corrective control is to lessen the impact of the security event by offsetting the impact of the consequences. Examples of corrective controls include backup restore procedures. These procedures enable a system to be recovered in case of extensive harm. A deterrent control provides warnings that may deter potential compromise by an attacker or intruder. The purpose of deterrent control is to reduce threats through warnings and notices that influence behavior. Examples of deterrent controls include warning banners on login screens or offering rewards for the arrest of hackers. A directive control mandates the behavior of an entity by specifying what actions are or are not permitted. A directive control may also be considered to be a type of deterrent control. Directive controls take the form of controls that arise through the outlining and enforcement of policies. A compensating control corrects a deficiency or weakness in the company's control structure by providing an alternative control measure. The purpose of compensating control is to reduce the risk of a control weakness through layering of different controls. An example of compensating control could be the addition of a challenge response component to a system that has weak access controls. This control measure will compensate for the deficiency in the access control mechanism. These control types must be put into place to provide defense in depth. A defense in depth strategy is the coordinated use of multiple security controls in a layered approach, as shown in this figure. A multi layered defense system minimizes the probability of successful penetration and compromise. It is because an attacker would have to get through several different types of protection mechanisms before gaining access to the organization's critical assets. By implementing a combination of these controls, organizations can effectively protect their assets and information systems from a wide range of security threats and risks. In the next video, we will talk about different methods for implementing these control types. Stay tuned. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!